Good morning from Pocock Island. Today we're going to be checking out all the best beaches on the south of the island and see what they're like. Uh, finishing off at the best Sunset Beach looks absolutely amazing. It's one of the best beaches I've ever seen and I've been lucky enough to see some amazing beaches. So yeah, stick around to the end and you'll get an absolutely corker beach. Now this is Seo Beach or Sao Beach, rather one or the other. Probably neither know my pronunciations. So you've got all the usual tat shops, sunglasses, souvenirs, restaurants. Looks nice, very relaxing. Now I think there's about four or five beaches down the south. Okay, we'll check them all out, see what they're like. We've got toilets down there, a couple of beach bars. Lovely clear blue water. Oh, that's where the power lines come in. Have you seen when I did my travel day? When I come on the ferry? These are the, the power lines that are going all the way back to the mainland. Must be thousands of them. And the, the, you get the odd power cut on the island. When I left, when I left Pukot City, there was a power cut there, and it was off for about six hours. And I, I drove here uh, on the bike. And I don't know how long it was down for, but by the time I got to my hotel it was all right. Some nice swings there. A few good places to relax. Lovely white sand. And a little Instagram seat there. Very quiet. It does look a beautiful beach. Paris Airlines, 700,000. It's at about 20, 22 pounds, 23 pounds for Paris Airlines. Water motor. What's that, a jet ski? Oh, it must be. For 20 minutes on the jet ski, 900,000. That's about 28, 29 pounds. For 20 minutes. That's extortionate, that. Well, they look like they've got the beach to themselves, so they charge what they like. There's some stairs to nowhere. You wouldn't want to be jumping off the top of there. You come down with a bang. It looks beautiful. Very, very nice. Another Instagram seat. Swings. Ice creams. I went to get an ice cream the other day. Well, you see me get it in Pocock City. And uh, there was a guy on the bike who just got one. And I asked him how much it was. He said 10,000, like 33p. So I got one. Did you see me eating it on a on the on the vlog. I went back the next morning to get one again and to try to charge me twenty thousand. <laughs> Obviously never recognised me. So I uh, tried to charge me double money, I just put the ten thousand and random walked off laughing. He went, no, twenty, twenty! I said no it's not, this is ten you told me yesterday. I got one yesterday. A load of jet skis there, but they look like they're uh, out of action.
that's been there a while and part of a boat it looks really nice let's have a quick look at this resort and we'll move on to the next beach there's a lot of rubbish being washed up man could do with a bit of a clean up operation it's obviously all being washed up off the sea The Highlands Coffee. That looks like a big resort. They're beautiful. The sea looks great here. Sunset Beach where I'm finishing off, I was there yesterday. Oh, it's amazing. It really is beautiful. It looks like a man made beach. I don't know that for sure, but it is absolutely beautiful. And that's in uh, Sunset Village. That's where I've been talking about the Italian village being built. I'm going to be doing a vlog on that and there's a, a Kiss the Sky show. It's all water lasers, um, water cannons, lasers, fireworks, the lights. It looks really really good. I watched it from the side from the Sunset Beach and it looked awesome. So uh, yeah, tomorrow's vlog um, within the next couple of days. I'll leave it in a couple of days. It's not on tonight so it's the only day it's not on. I'm going to do it, I'm going to finish off the vlog with that. I'll show you the Italian village, which is beautiful, it really is beautiful. Although an eyesore on a lovely, beautiful, like, like, lovely island like this, it, it is an awesome place. And I'll finish off with the light show. I only went to watch it yesterday from the side, from the beach, just to see if it was vlog worthy. And it, it'd be a good way to finish off. Here's another one of them places that for the heroes and martyrs that fought for the independence of the nature of the nation. I just come across it when I was going to uh, going to a beach that's like, like closed off. It's got big iron gates going into it. So yeah, I can't get down that one. I've been down a few little side streets, drove right down, see if I can find anywhere that's off the beaten track. You know, some desolate beaches. Yeah, I keep running into dead ends at the minute. <laughs> but there's a few more to come up, definitely. And like you said, the Sunset Beach at the end. But yeah. Heroes and martyrs who fought for the independence of the nation. It's got a big spike on top of the fist. That's what that is. It's been turned into a military camp. So yeah, you definitely can't go down there. <laughs> if I said this was hidden away, I'd be putting it mildly. <laughs> I've just come down a dirt track. About... 20 minutes off the main road, you definitely wouldn't get down here with a car. Not unless it's a bloody good 4 before and it's very thin. But yeah, there's no cars here at all, just motorbikes. And there's one thing I am, it's doggedly determined. I like to leave no stone unturned on the search for desolate beaches. Today I was meant to be going on the chairlift, that was my plan. It's the longest chairlift in the world. And um, it's the most beautiful apparently. But it's under, it's in, under um, maintenance until the 20th of December. So yeah, it's out, it's out of action for another month. Oh, there's a resort there, I bet I could have got down there dead easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. It's not nice anyway, it's beautiful. But they picked up all the crap. And it wouldn't take that much doing. I like these. Like something you find in a water park. You got the engines. Take a little wander down this resort. I'll tell you what, I'll ride down there anyway. Not down the beach. I'd have to go all the way back, wouldn't I? Looks nice. It looks a really clear purse. It looks like where I'm going to be showing you when I go to the either, either something show. 
like an Italian theme to it. I don't know what why, I don't know why they've got this thing about Italians, it's about Italian places. Uh, on the Vietnamese island. It just seems a bit strange. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'll ride the bike around there. We'll have a quick look around and see what it's like. This one here is called Quang Na. Quang Na Bay. Right, I'm going to ride back on the bike and get round to this little resorty thing. I'm not sure if it's the Marriott. If it is, there's guards on the gate. But I'll just see if I can, uh, I'll see if I can wing it. You know, just pretend that you're staying there. Although, it don't look like someone will be staying at the Marriott. <laughs> you can only give it a go. Ha, <laughs> I'm in. I don't know if you can see all them guards there. I got through two sets of guards. I drove round the barrier at the front gate. There's loads of reviews saying you can't get in here. Uh, I just drove round and I never looked at the cards. Just, just looked the other way, just drove straight through. And uh, yeah, they never sent out them ones. This is the Marriott. The Marriott and the Emerald Bay. Now this does look amazing. Jet skis, 20 minutes, 60 minutes, 4 million done, 430 quid an hour. No doubt that. Guards everywhere. Premier residences in Pocock. What am I doing in here? <laughs> Someone's got a table set out for them with lanterns, crystal glasses. Very romantic. Now understandably, this is the cleanest beach I have ever seen. Apart from Sunset Beach, well, as well as Sunset Beach. That's really clean as well, but there's a guy there in the green. He's even going around picking up little twigs that'll fall off the tree. Now these places are super expensive, it's uh, the Marriott and Emerald Bay. A big swing. Basketball court, well, court, a uh, basketball ring. There's more guards up there. Won't be surprised if I get stopped here. I want to try and head towards these weird houses up here. And you see them um, houses that are on the side of that uh, little island there. Again, that'll be for the super rich, that. Try me look on up here, have a look at this swimming pool. Wow, it's nice up here. Emerald Bay, have you got the money? Oh, he's on me. <laughs> I've been captured. <laughs> He's coming for me. The guy in the hut. Yeah, he stopped coming when I got back to the beach. He's had one of them rice paddy field hats on. Uh, he's, uh, he's running over with his arms crossed. Like that. 
I mean, no stop. Not allowed. A lovely hammock. Relax on. Bye, you gotta have some coin to stay here. What's this sign say? Oh, it's just on about beach flags. He's still stood there on the beach there watching me. You'll be seeing if I go up towards any of the pools again. Miles away, man. Don't catch me. I'm Richie Parkinson. Well, you can get the gist of this place in here. It's for the rich. Nice nonetheless. Beautiful, isn't it? A bit more than nice. Now I'm going to have to walk past the straw hat guy. See what he says. He says I want to get on camera. I wish I had a pound for every person on that beach that looks absolutely burnt to death. <laughs> uh, every Westerner on that beach, honestly. Bright red. Absolutely bright red. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at these buildings on the way out. Because they're very distinctive, to put it mildly. And then we'll go to Sunset Beach and finish off. That's the Emerald Bay. And that looks like a big airport wire tower thing where you get an airport. And these are the places I was on about. This looks like where I'm staying. If you watch the vlog about the channel going forward. But older. But they're all there's no one in them, apart from these couple of shops on the bottom. All these look are totally empty. Right, time for Sunset Beach. Looks amazing when you drive into the Sunset, uh, the, the Emerald Bay and Marriott. I assume that's the Marriott. Uh, and this is the front entrance. Premier Village, Premier Residences, JW Marriott. New World Pocock Resort. Sun Pocock Emerald Bear in the dogs on the top. Look like Dobermans. Very fancy. Now this is the place I'm gonna be showing you in tomorrow's vlog. I'll just give you a sneak preview. It's all brand new. You get elevators that come down to the beach. And they're all over. I'll show you it all in tomorrow's vlog. But yeah, it's a very, very, very queer place. And that's where we'll be finishing off. I'll be sat on them stands and the shores on here, going through them three eye things. I'll get a little bit closer, but this is Sunset Beach. Now, if I said this was quiet, I'd be putting it very mildly. There's absolutely no one in the sea. So oh, there's one person over there. I come down here yesterday and I had a little dip in the sea. And I come and lay down here for a bit. No one come over. So I presume they're just free and don't have to pay for anything. Well, I'll be showing you tomorrow that on the other side of there it's like a big Colosseum thing and then you have uh, big statues of, um, of like Roman guys on the other side and it's massive this place is massive all that lights up so you'll, you'll see all that lit up on the night before I go into this show that's going on here
And when I say one of the most beautiful beaches I've seen, I mean it's just very tranquil. Obviously when you're looking out, you're not really getting a full look out at the sea. But that's Sail, Sail Beach, Sail Beach, that was very, very nice. If they cleaned up the rubbish, it'd be amazing. But down here, you see absolutely no rubbish whatsoever. And beautiful surroundings. You, you definitely think you're in Italy. You think you're in Santorino. Santorini? Santorini. And yeah, that's where the show will be on. I'll be sat in them stands and then you have, you have big lights, big laser lights that go up. And um, big water cannons coming through the lights. Fireworks, loads of fire coming up. And instead of loud, loads of music. It looks really, really good. I was just sat on them steps over there watching it last night. And it looked amazing from the side. So I'm really looking forward to getting right in front of it. There's like a Vietnamese story behind it, but I'm not bothered about that. I just want to see all the lights and the and the lasers and the fireworks and everything like that. It looked class, it really did look class. I hope you join me tomorrow night to watch it. Or for tomorrow night's vlog. It'll be aired over the weekend probably. Or maybe it's Friday, I'm not sure. I can't think what day it is to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so this is Sunset Beach. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's little walk around the beaches, checking out the south of the island, seeing a few things that were distinctive. Quiet beaches, mucky beaches, and beautiful ones, really beautiful. I am going to miss Pukong. It's a really beautiful place. Very relaxing. You can get bored very easily here. Once you've done everything, once you've been places. I mean, I wanted to go on the chairlift. Like right, you say, it's off. It's out of action till next month. So yeah, it's just, this place is just about relaxing. Chilling out. And I'm doing vlogs, I can't do that too much. <laughs> you know, it's, good, it's good to recharge the batteries, but time moves on. Uh, where am I going next? Cantor. Cantor after here. So I'll come up after in two days. I'll be on a 10 hour journey. Setting off about 6.30 in the morning. I'm going to drive up to Cantor City on my bike. Get a grab motorbike to the ferry port. And I'm going to get the express ferry back instead of the slow one. So you can just see a different type of a journey. It only takes about an hour, I think. But the other one was three hours. And then I can get into Canto a bit earlier. I've got to get to the... I hope it's on time, this express ferry, because then I've got to, I've already got half an hour to get to the bus station before the bus leaves. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe. Share with anyone you think might be interested in the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.